if vegans boycotted that burger and they took it off the menu and then there wasn't a vegan option at KFC, but they, 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 they've got one of the biggest reach out of any corporation on earth. That would be smart advocacy, wouldn't it? That would be clever. No, I'm going there and I'm eating it and I'm promoting it because it's a vegan option. I was just wondering, is that vegan burger here? Or? No. I can't believe that. Yeah, so they're completely sold out to the 2nd of July. Hello everyone, welcome to another video. So, I was just finishing my breakfast and my housemate came back with a little surprise for me. And yes, I'm sitting in the kitchen, KFC. KFC, Kentucky Fried Cruelty, but what have they got in here? What have we got in here? Finger licking vegan. So this is the wrap and this is the burger. Now, these have probably been in the car from London, so they're probably about an hour away, so let's just see what they look like. Are they still in good condition? Finger licking vegan, I love that. Oh my god. Check it out. Check it out, dude. Look at the um how big the patty is. It smells like a fast food sandwich. Let's just go all in, shall we? Wow. The texture of that, that is um a really decent fast food burger. Like it's really the bun's really soft, the mayonnaise is really mellow and nice, and the patty is just like really well made. This is made of mycoprotein, which is like, you know, a mushroom, a fungus. So mushroom protein, really good. I'm really happy with that. Let's move on to the, the wrap here. Wow, that mayonnaise they've used is amazing. Really good. All right, so here's the wrap, decent size. Ooh, yeah, there's the patty inside there. It's been cut, so the patty's been cut. Let's try that. Look at it. Mm. They nailed it. Oh my God. They nailed that patty. I'm gonna give this, like from, from fast food burgers, that's a seven and a half. This is like a nine. This is really, really good. Oh my God. I love the burger. The burger's great if you're a bit more hungry, but this here, really happy with them, hey? Really, really good. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these out to the public and see what they think. Stay tuned. Okay, so here we are, back out the front of KFC Gloucester Road. We're gonna see if the Imposter Burger is back. Are you ordering a vegan burger? Are you a vegan? Yeah. I'm happy that you're ordering a vegan burger. I don't want to do this with KFC, but like, I want to try it, and yeah. I want to create the demand, so we travel, you know. Well, I'm doing the same thing. Yeah. Hiya. Hello, how are you? Can I get um, three imposter burgers and three of the imposter wraps, please? Yeah. Yeah. It will take long time. Yeah. 15 minutes. 15 minutes is yeah. not long. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine? Yeah. 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 I'm not going to have the meat one. Yeah. Come here, take it. All right, here we go. We got them, the imposter burger, and we got the wraps here. We're going to see what the public think. Do you want to try one of these burgers, mate? Um, these are the Imposter Burger. I want you to have a crack. Have, have a try. try. I want you to tell me what you think and if you can tell the difference. Does it taste like chickens? Yes, I think it's chicken, yes. It's you think it's chicken? It's chicken, yes. Sir. But there's no chickens in there? No. That's crazy, eh? Is that good or bad? Like chicken... Uh, that's a scallop, yes. Uh, like chicken breast, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what it tastes like. This is vegan. You know what vegan is? Veganess? Vegan. Like vegetarian? Vegetarian, I know. Vegetarian. Yeah, 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 but this is vegan, no animal product. No animal, yes, I understand. I exactly what is soya, or soya or something. This is a uh, fungus, mushroom. Fungus, mushroom, mushroom. This is ah. made of mushroom meat. No, it, uh, you like it? Tastes, like tastes chicken. good. Tastes like chicken. It, uh, it tastes quite good, quite good. Yeah, no cruelty, no violence, mm -hmm. just plants. Mm -hmm. Good? Good, good, yes, very, very good. Very good. Thank you very much. You want to try some, brother? What's this one? This is a new one. I'm doing taste tests on camera. You want to be on? Is this, what's this uh, vegan? This is a new vegan one. Yeah. Have you tried it? Uh, no, no. What, you want to try it? What, what sort of... Uh... They use um, mushroom uh, meat. Yeah. It's like microprotein. So this is what... What's this one? Chicken? This is a burger and this is a wrap. Yeah. What's the best one? Ah, oh, the wrap's my favourite, but I think... The, it depends if you're a burger or a wrap person. What do you like best? You want to try one too? No, no, thanks. I, I thought I saw a vegan on it. They are. They're the yeah, new I'll, vegan, I'll but have you try, try it on camera and tell me what you think. Is that the Impossible Burger? It's the Imposter Burger. 
Try one. I wanted to get everyone's opinion whether they can tell the difference, what you think. So where's this getting televised then? YouTube. Just YouTube. my YouTube channel. YouTube. Yeah. Of all the things like, in the world. What the do you think? That's fish. Right? No, no, this is vegan. This is no animals. Right, no, but that's the fish version? It's no, like this is chicken. Supposed to be imitating chicken. Yeah. Are you giving me that? Yeah, I'm just trying to get people's opinion and see. Yeah, yeah. You're a meat eater? You're a meat eater? Well, I've switched over to vegan burgers, like Impossible Burger, okay. Beyond Burger. They're amazing. So you're sort of flexitarian. In, in the US, they're coming out with the Impossible Whopper. Yeah, saw that. What do you think? They are nice. It's nice? I don't know the love of Kentucky or any craft foods, but this is good. Do you, do you think it tastes like the texture of um, it's chicken? Amazing. It's amazing. amazing. Yeah. 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 Mm. It's amazing what you can do together when you don't have to kill anything. You don't have to kill anyone, do you? No. That's amazing. And it's not Kentucky Fried Cruelty, this is uh, Kentucky Fried Compassion. Compassion. Kentucky <laughs> Fried Compassion. No you animals want, killed. You want to the okay, see, 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 see. Yeah. Kentucky, Kentucky Fried Compassion. Mm. So you, you can't tell the difference? Are you happy with it? Would you get I'm it again? Very, yeah, absolutely. I'll be Excellent. Back. I'll be back. Thank it's, you. No it's worries, good. brother. Peace. So you've been incorporating more vegetarian yeah, food to you. Very, very much so. Yeah. How does it f feel to know that you can get an option like this? Would you choose this over the meat option if you had a choice nearly everywhere? I would do. Yeah. I, I, this would be a treat for us to have every no, and now and again. Yeah, brother. You know what? Well, you, what you should do, you should not. Uh, not tell people. No, no, no. What you should do is not have it all the time. Because it's junk food. Yeah. yeah. Just a treat. Because yeah, that's just... what restaurants were for, wasn't it? Yeah, a treat. It was only meant to be a treat. Hey, brother. This is a vegan challenge. Challenge 22. Sign up on Facebook. Okay. No animal cruelty. Okay. It's good. Bless you, man. Keep the Bless you, work. brother. Keep up. Bless Boom. You, man. Thank hey, you. mate. Right. You want to try one of these? Yes. Are you a vegan? Uh, well, I was. You were? A year and a half. Which one do you want to try, the wrap or the burger? The burger. Right there. Okay, here, let's, let's take the... If you can peel that off, okay. you get a free burger. Right. There you go. Can I try it? Yeah, and you try it on camera for me and tell me what you think. Okay. I want you to tell me if you can tell the difference. Yeah. Come in, come in, come in. This is, is this the veggie or vegan? Vegan. Wow. No animal cruelty, no violence? That's good. That's good. Why aren't you vegan anymore? What do you mean you were vegan and now you're not? I was, um, when I stopped being vegan. So I was vegan in 2014. Yeah. And I did it for a year and a half. But most people didn't even know what veganism was. Yeah. It was too political. Every time I'd have a meal, it was like, you'd have, you'd have to explain what veganism was. Yeah. So, so you went back to eating animals because of that? Um, social yeah. pressure. Yeah, social pressure. What and about? Now I feel like it's easier to be vegan. Sorry. It's easier to be vegan. Yeah. What I do you think? Damn good. Can you tell the difference? Would you think that was a chicken? I don't eat meat. You're a veg, you don't eat meat, but you eat you eat other animal products. I can't. I can tell the difference. You can tell the difference. It's a lot softer. But it's pleasant. It's still delicious. Yeah. yeah, it's got the same KFC flavor. It's not kind of greasy ah. or fatty. It's nice. It's really good. It goes and well with the veggies. I call this Kentucky Fried Compassion <laughs> to chickens. KFC yeah, now. it's in this KFC right now. That if more of us buy it, they'll keep it on. Okay. Make veganism right. easier. Yeah. 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 Hey guys, who's very you guys? Fresh, are, very fresh. As well. Very fresh. Yeah. Try a vegan challenge. Mm. All animal products cause violence to animals, and we try to live in a way that sort of lessens the harm to them. Yeah. And if it can be tasty and convenient, then why not? Yeah. Thank you so much. Excellent. Thank you. Doing a great thing. Brother, yeah. thank you. Yeah. Your values. Do you feel like you're against animal cruelty still in your heart? Um. Yeah, I think I think it's unsustainable if I'm honest. For the um, environment, the cruelty aspect. I originally got into it for health. Okay. Um, but then you can't help but get the veganism's totally a moral philosophy, the, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Animal cruelty. I was like, oh yeah, I let go of all like leather products. Good. Had all vegan cosmetics. So like, when the whole how did you? I, I want to understand your psychology. Weird, how yeah. you fell back into your old conditioning? Was it the so, culture? Pressure? Um, yeah, a bit of everything, really. Yeah. Ah. And yeah. so you sort of swept your values aside and fell back into your old sort of habitual... You know, the, the way I could describe it is, you know, that, you know that guy from The Matrix? You know the guy who wants to be plugged back yeah. in? Uh-huh. And he's like, just make me forget. Just it was easier. Yeah, and it's easier. So I think it is interesting, and I do, I think I do want to... Yeah, I, I need to eat less meat, but I think... I think the hardest thing is how people bond over food. Yeah. So when like when someone say at, like at an office event or like a work do brings in food from home, 
and then, social yeah, situations yeah. are a bit different, a bit awkward. You could always bring vegan food, but like, so, like do you think, are your values strong enough that you could you can withhold those? Oh, they were. Yeah, they yeah. were. But like, I was like, yeah, I'd, I'd be asking if there was wine out by. I'd be like, is this vegan wine? Uh, it's like something like filtered through fish guts and stuff wow. like that. Wow. It's yeah. interesting how yeah. Well, yeah, full you, you were isolated from any vegan community. You didn't have support network. Yeah. yeah, there was like a vegan community in Brixton at the time in yeah. like 2014. But I was in North London. Yeah, so it was very far removed. Yeah, it can be quite lonely. Yeah, yeah. So I think now it's huge. Like, you speak to anyone, veganism is everywhere. Really. So Are you ever going to go back? Who knows? Who knows? Because when you say less meat, because me. <laughs> if you if you agree that killing animals for food is cruel and unnecessary, you're going to do less of a cruel and unnecessary thing. But do you think it's even justified to kill one animal if you don't need to? I, I completely agree with you. On yeah. an a, on a, on a ethical, moral standpoint, I don't, I don't, like I couldn't kill an animal. Yeah. I spent all of today like walking my friend's dog around London. I love dogs. I don't really get speciesism. Like, speciesism, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, I don't get like why killing a cow is Love different. one and kill the other. Yeah. So you don't eat dogs, but you do eat other animals. Yeah, exactly, exactly. I think the only way you can kind of get through it is just by being switched, switched off. off. Yeah, so, so that's I the think psychology. What you're doing is fantastic. It's waking is people it, back yeah, up. It does. It does. So you know keep what? It up, keep it up. Vegan challenge. Thank you. Get back yeah. on it. All right. All right. And yeah. here's my here's my YouTube channel, brother. Okay. Cool. Oh, I will. And check you can it out. check it out. And then there's All plenty right. plenty of community online. Cool. Get back on the ethical train. All right. Spread the message and cool. preach compassion. Brilliant. Cheers, brother. Take, Take care. Cheers. Well, there you go. Seems like it was 10 out of 10 from everyone. I didn't hear anyone complain about those burgers. So why choose the cruel version when you can get Kentucky Fried Compassion? I don't really eat much fast food and I won't probably eat much of these burgers. But it's great there's another option, isn't there? And I don't think the people who eat animals will be, will be disappointed at all with those. They're fantastic. I'm so grateful that they've put on a vegan option. Finally, they're listening to the demand of the people and people want more compassionate options. Kentucky Fried Compassion. They went from Kentucky Fried Cruelty to Kentucky Fried Compassion. Now they still obviously sell the abused, murdered bodies of billions of other animals, but it's amazing that there is an option for people who love KFC, they're thinking about veganism, they're, they're trying to switch over and transition. There's an option there. Even for vegans who like a bit of fast food, boom. You buy this, you're supporting, this is a corn patty. So corn, they're a vegetarian company, but they're moving towards vegan veganism more. So that's where they outsource these patties from. Highly recommend. Um, I've talked about the ethics of supporting vegan options at non-vegan establishments. I think we should, and I think it's ridiculous and illogical if you don't. Um, I understand some people don't want to walk into KFC. These patties are not fried in the same oil uh, as the, the dead birds. They're in another separate little uh, facility and they pull them out of this big oven thing. So they're baked, they're not fried, so a little bit healthier. Yeah, I think we should support vegan options wherever you go. Wherever you go. It's a non-vegan world. All the money that passes through your hands goes into the hands of some animal abuser or some Somewhere down the line, it came from, you know, all money is blood money. It either came from some animal abuse or it goes to some animal abuse. The best thing we can do with our money is support vegan options where we can. 